Asadi.
to you and they play.
give it up for Zai.
that okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. And then we can go back to the we can go back to the dancing. Yes. Right. So my dad passed away last year. He was my best friend. Uh, my parents were married for my parents were married for 35 years. They had an amazing marriage. And I and he's like the most wonderful person. Anyway, losing him was radical. And I am not alone in this experience of grief. We all lose somebody important at some point in life. And for for tonight, I just want to hold space for for anybody that has lost someone. I just want us to hold space for them. I want us to honor them. I want us to cherish them. I want us to celebrate them and what they have meant in our life. Okay. So, I'm going to sing a song called The Mountain's Daughter, that was the name of my father. And if you feel so inclined, obviously, sing to me. Okay, sure. Okay. Um.
tradition in every single city that's very, very special to us. And we take a picture, yeah! Okay, it is, it is a selfie. Um, so we need a volunteer to take the photo. And, and then, okay, somebody, can, can somebody take the photo? We need five pictures, and then you get a selfie with us with the whole crowd. Is that a good deal? You want to do it? Alright, right, fantastic. I started holding you like it was like a regular photo. I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, definitely not in that. Well, maybe you could just hold them. Like, ah! to push for this. 
and I got I focus on mastering what's in front of me and what's behind me to create something that I, in my opinion, is something that the world, uh, this style of uh, Middle Eastern music that the world can accept and appreciate, but more importantly, uh, evolving our legacy because these, these instruments are precious and they don't need to be back in time. They can be timeless. That's how I see it. the internet to my full advantage to share this through my performance videos online. How many of you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> I really mean this, you know, I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. You guys have turned into people who just found me online to followers, to then fans, to then people who would take the time out of their day to get ready, drive over here and come see me before me. That means the year. So, There is a point I'm trying to make, but, uh, you know, for every one non-Middle Eastern, non-Iranian follower I would receive, I'd receive probably like 10, 11 uh, Iranian Persian followers. And a lot of them looked a lot like me, dressed like me, listened to the same music as I do. You know, they look, they look like all of us, but they live in the Islamic regime, the Islamic Republic of Iran. And for those of you who are not Iranian, what I'm trying to get at is these kids don't have the freedom, period, to do what I am doing today, to represent their culture. Yeah. In turn, they're sick of it. And they're, there's fights and protests going on there all the time. And we're calling it a revolution because it damn near is. Oh, yeah. We kindly ask those of you who are non Iranian supporters of my music to please do some research and look up what's going on in Iran and how you can help. You'll quickly find out that there's not much you need to do. We just need your voice. The mass media doesn't really cover what we're doing, and it's important that we have your voice because the more. The, the louder we are on the internet, the more push for change we can uh, we can we can put pressure on the Islamic regime, and it's actually working. It really is. If you look it up, it actually is working. I didn't think it was going to work, but I was surprised. It really was. So now I say this at every stage of performance: please help us and be our voice. And then we'll keep There's a saying, we say, women, life, and freedom. Women, life, freedom. Women, life, freedom. Women, life, freedom. Women, life, freedom. Louder. Women like freedom. Women like freedom.